This white blanket in Darling River is made up of millions of dead fish. The rotting remains of mainly bream, cod and perch are clogging Australia's second longest river. And they're disrupting the lives of people in the small town of Menindee. You're walking around in a, a dried up mess and then you're smelling this putrid smell. And it's, it's a terrible smell and, and horrible to see all those dead fish. Local authorities say unusually hot weather has led to a large algal bloom in the rivers. This, coupled with receding floodwaters and drying riverbeds, have starved fish of oxygen. In a statement, the New South Wales State Department says the hot weather is exacerbating hypoxia. As warmer water holds less oxygen than cold water, the fish have higher oxygen needs at warmer temperatures. This is the third mass die-off of fish in the Darling River. In 2019, nearly one million fish perished there. But the New South Wales Department of Primary Industries says the latest is the worst, with hardly any fish being left alive. It's just that feeling of hopelessness, that no one wants to take any responsibility for it. And really, all we want is to maintain a healthy river. Authorities say fish populations usually boom during the floods and then fall as floodwaters recede. The local people blame poor water management. They say more needs to be done to improve the drainage and quality of water to prevent another wall of dead fish. Laura Khan, Al Jazeera.